Welcome to all the viewers of this video. We will now discuss the lead code dairy streak problem today. In this, we have a question. The name is the spiral matrix 2. This is the extended version of spiral matrix 1. In that question, you have given a matrix and you have to return the matrix and the element of the matrix in the spiral order in the form of vector. In this question, you have given a variable n which is the input and we have to fill the matrix in the spiral order from the element 1 to n square let's take the example number 1 in this question the n is 3 then we will fill the element from 1 to n square that is 1 to n we will fill like this like this until all the block will not get filled and we will move in the spiral form now let's discuss the approach of this question. I have declared a matrix, an empty matrix with all the element as 0. Then an integer k which is a counter <coughs> which count which takes count of the element which are filled or not. Then a variable top which is the top row, bottom which is the last row, left which is the first column, right which is the last column. I have also declared a while loop which is used to take care about whether left is less than equal to right and top is less than equal to bottom or it will not get exceeded otherwise the element get overlap and the value get changed in any block of the matrix then I have used if condition in this the condition is top is less than equal to bottom top is this bottom is this left is this and right is this in that I have first of all fill the element from left to right and increase the and increase the top by 1 then fill the from top to bottom then decrease the right by 1 then from right to left and decrease the bottom by 1 like this then from bottom to the top and increase the left by 1 the increase and decrease is occurred due to the not overlapping of the elements of the matrix so that the element will not get changed and at last after filling the element by using the k we increase the k plus plus so that the k value get increased from 1 to n square and at last we return the matrix now let's submit the question whether it is accepting or not Let's check. It is successfully submitted. Please subscribe my channel for such amazing coding solution. Please, please subscribe.